Hello guys, today we learn how to create a web API in sp.net MBC. For this we have required Visual Studio 2015, MBC 5, SQL Server 2012 or higher version. The sp.net web API is a framework that makes it easy to build HTTP services that reach a broad range of clients like browsers, mobile devices, and desktop applications and tablets which require services. The HTTP actions and their corresponding CRUD operations are below. You can see get to get the record from the database, put to update the records in database or any resources, post to create new record new resource and delete to delete the record from database like any database like sql server oracle or any other database there is decorating method with attributes in web api to make easy to do CRUD operations like http get method http post method http put and http delete we can put this method on top of the action results. Now let us see attribute routing. Attribute routing. Routing is how Web API matches URI to actions. Web API 2 supports new type of routing called attribute writing. Routing. As the name implies, attribute routing uses attributes to define routes. Attribute routes give you more control over the URI in your web API. For example, you can easily create URI that describe hierarchy of resources. Now, if you can put like route prefix and I put I API for slash implies on top of controller, we can give any name according to your web api projects and in action method we can route on top route list we can change list any name on top of action method where you want to and finally what i would like http localhost this will be your website your url and this is the API imply we have given in route prefix of the controller and list that is the top of the action method. So you can change according to your project and need. So that is understandable. Now, if you want to result when you run your application in JSON format, uh, you can simply go to web start folder web API config dot cs and put config dot format a json format dot support media type dot add new media type header value text html by using this you can get the result in json in only chrome browsers now let us start the creation of web api with the help of sv.net mbc now Create table implies imply ID name cell also you have need to define a primary key imply ID you can see the table already we have in database for table let us see the definition of this implies table alt f1 you can see structure of table like imply ID define data type big integer name and require salary floats you have defined three column names and there is uh, one primary key constant on the imply id you can see and also you can check whether data in is available or not select and execute now you can see there is three data like implied id 101 name john and sally now come save now here we define the get method to retrieve the record from the database 
here I have created imply controllers and these controllers I have put route prefix API forward slash implies and in action method I have put HTTP get and I have put route list you can put any name according to your project uh, naming what you want now this is action method of the web api here i have written ihtp action gel which which comes in web api 2 and you can see string sample entities in db context equal to db sample entities and result i have defined db implies to list and json json converter i have defined serialize object and this result we have included a where response equal to this request create response http status code dot ok the response dot content equal to new string content json which are here json and encoded by utf8 and application json format and return response message response so this way we get the result from the database using the http get method now i http action result new way of creating response in sp.net web api 2 i http action result allow developer to enhance their web api code to be more testable more reachable and cleaner and more elegant our json will return look like this this is collection imply like imply 101 john 10,000 other imply 2 and third imply 3 and uh, other example like like we have used a web page 2 direct way like return not found if result equal to null and return ok results so the above code looks simpler than the http response message message and example hides the lower level of message construction away from controller there are some predefined helper method of i http action results are okay redirect not found unauthorized conflict and bad request if you want to response can be modified you can convert also convert by this way now let us see in the real example Visual Studio 2015 go to file new project sv.mweb and put the name of the project web API sample 3 and click on ok now I have to choose empty projects empty template 4.6.1 template and choose web API click on ok button now you can see empty projects web api sample will be created now i i have to add a dmx file for entry framework right click on model click on add button and new item and i have to choose data then edu.net entry data model click on add design from database click on next click new connections put server name what you have pc name or ip address server user id and password click on database select sample click on ok button and choose yes and click on next and choose entry framework 6.x and click on next now i have to choose table implies we have already created and also there are three records in this table let us choose and click on finish so you can see now model one dot edmx file will be created also you can check their properties with 
public property employee id name salary with get associated methods now i have to create controllers for web api click on add method controllers now i have to choose web api 2 controller with empty click on admin now put the name of the controller employee and click on add button now you can see imply controller has been created now i have to write action method to result the data so i have put one action method i http action result which is introduced in web api 2.0 now uh, i have already told you have defined route prefix so we can define route prefix here this is action method so you can define route prefix route prefix and put the url what you want so put this api url now also i have to put after route prefix we can put route and you can give the name of the action method so directly you can access from this now route and this method will result the this return some value so put return and put okay now i have to write to get the data so so you can put here http get methods so that that action method will be created to get the data from the database using the web api so need some more extra code to get the data from the database so i have defined one string json sample entities we have defined in edmx file during the creation so you can also check this one sample entities so i want so need to add nemesis for this choose using web api sample add the namespace adding added here now see a sample entity is equal db new sample entity make the object for this and where result db dot implies to list get the or uh, the record and store in the result now this result need to serialize so I have put JSON, JSON convert dot serialize object and results. So I need to add namespace Newton soft JSON for this JSON convert. Now add it. Now I have to create a response for this. So I have created where response request dot create response HTTP status code dot OK and this spawn dot content i have added new string content json which you get the result after the serialize object and encoding utf you can add namespace system dot text and return as a applic json format so need to add application json content type and after that return response message response so you can see here get method will created for the web api here i have to use create response and string content json convert to serialize result so for using the some style effort to change the to change the result before sending to response now let us run these applications now you have to call using the uri attribute method you have defined like api employees go to here put 
employees and in the out prefix we have defined list and click on it so you can see here you get the data in json format in chrome browsers also you can target to check whether it is working or not go to chrome go to apps and there is postman extension in chrome browsers if you have not then you need to add this extension in chrome browsers and you can check your web api in using the postman now there is get method here so get and put url you want to access now we you put localhost api employees a list and click on send button there is no parameter so directly we need to click on set buttons and finally you can see there is collection of records in json format like employee id 10 and name john sally employee id name adam sally and employee id 103 name maria and sally 15000 now you can see here your first web api will be created and also you can check from the postman so result will available in json format in last part i have defined here this use of web api 2 method like result directly imply dot true list and if result equal to null return not found and return ok result so also you can write this way now i want to show some more extra effort to show as a json as a in json format but there is root of this way let us see like implies now if you want to show the record in json this way so need to some take extra effort let us see now i have to comment this part now i've defined json json convert to dot serialize object and define new imply whatever result will be comes will be defined the in object imply now run the applications now put uri api imply list so you can see here implies this imply id 101 and imply 02 so this this is we get as a object like implies and their values in the area of collections now also check in the check through the postman get method imply list and now click on send button so you can see here implies and square bracket imply one record and imply two record and imply three records also we create post method in next video thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel